Jeff, thank you. In Baker, an old Little League field is getting a facelift. After years of neglect, city leaders say it is time to invest in more safe spaces for families to have fun in their community. Miranda Thomas takes us there for a closer look at the project. It is the place that brought people together in Baker for years. The Youth Little League baseball field in Baker appears to be vandalized, abandoned, and overall an eyesore to the community. But plans to rebuild it are in the works. As we continue to build houses, we need things for people to do. Um, and that recreation part of it is a big deal. Um, you know, you go to work, you want you want the families to come out to, to watch the kids. If the kids are there, you get the families out. According to city leaders, the upkeep became too much to handle, and it was hard to score the volunteers, funding, and young players to keep it going. The resources, the funding, parents just can't afford it. But with several new subdivisions popping up around the city, council member Rochelle Dunn says now is the time for renovations. We had a good league going on at that time. But uh, for some reason, it failed, and uh, now we're trying to bring it back so that we can uh, generate our families. This is just one way the city is hoping to revitalize some recreational activities in hopes of boosting the population. Now, the city of Baker is calling on community partners to help them bring this project to life. Our children is our future, and if we don't go back and uh, bring them up and train them in order to... Uh, become a productive citizen, we're going to lose our children. And right now we're losing our children to a lot of violence. Dunn says it won't happen overnight, but a new field is coming soon. We're not even a part of the Little League Association again, so we're going to open it up as a Baker baseball field where we can have uh, the little kids, where they can have t-ball, we can have coach pitch, and then maybe some have some older kids teams for uh, nine years and up. Miranda Thomas, WAFB 9 News. The mayor just approved a committee to work out the logistics of the project. We're told the new baseball field they hope will be in full swing by September of this year.